Hi gals, welcome back to another episode of Zero Waste Closet. So this week I wanted to do a Valentine's centered video and I wanna make it relevant as I always do. I want this to be something that you feel you can actually use in real life. And so many of us have plans. Maybe it's going out to dinner with our spouse plans, maybe, or that significant other. Maybe it's just getting together for lunch with girlfriends on Valentine's Day. But perhaps we want to just go that extra mile with whatever we are wearing and it doesn't have to be over the top dressy. In fact, a lot of you have been communicating to me this year that you are just in a more casual mode. Really, this trend started, I think, with COVID and actually even prior to that with the whole advent of athleisure wear. So we all, many of us, I will say, are just really starting to prioritize comfort. So even when we get really dressed up, we don't want to feel out of our own skin. And so I want to show you guys a handful of ways that you can look special for Valentine's Day that don't involve getting uncomfy. And what we're doing that's extra special this time is we are actually going to feature our real life customers here at Chill Boutique and our staff. I might sneak one of me into here too. And this way you guys get to see a ton of variety here when it comes to looking special for Valentine's Day. And you're gonna see a variety of ages, you're gonna see a variety of body types and even of personal styles. So let's take a look. This is without a doubt one of my favorite Valentine's inspired looks. And of course, who better to model it than our gorgeous staff Rachel Boutique, Andy. She is wearing the pink on pink fate dress that is in a lightweight knit. She's got the cut from the cloth denim jacket on just to add a little bit of casualness to the look. And then tall, light, suede booties from Kochi. Very, very cute for an evening out. Our customer Christine here is rocking what I call Valentine's in Paris. So she's got her beautiful beret on with the Grade and Gather floral shirt, some gorgeous rust or copper colored jeans from Just Black Denim, and a great pair of loafers. I love this because this is an option for those of you who are not really into bright pinks or reds. It's a more muted way to channel the spirit of Valentine's Day. I love this look on our customer Cheryl, not only because it really does scream Valentine's Day with the bubblegum pink blazer, but I also love it because it is so true to Cheryl's spirit. Cheryl is a very outdoorsy gal, very active, and so she's actually wearing activewear leggings from Yoga Democracy with the floral cherry blossoms. It's really beautiful on with a basic black t-shirt from Mono B, and then she's got, of course, the blazer on from Urban Daisy. This is great for day time or night time. Who better to model this next look than our very own Lainey at Chill Boutique. This one made my heart sing. It resonates so much with me and it is so in the spirit of Lainey as well. She's got this great rock and roll vibe going on and uh, she's just a very edgy dresser. So this is perfect for her. She's got the pull um, corduroy pants on with a concert t-shirt that has just a pop of pink in it. And then for Valentine's Day, we've got the hot pink bomber jacket in the faux leather and this is just screaming fun and flirty. With Cheryl, we couldn't pick just one look. We had to come back to another look that is just beautiful, fresh, very casual, and yet elevated. So we've got the white, just black denim, high-waisted jeans with the white Riley shirt that you guys know I love so much. So white on white is always just fresh, lovely, elegant, sophisticated. Then we do the pop of red with the little Xena cow leather bag. And then to finish off the look, we have the pewter kind of brushed silver platform from wedges by OTBT. In this one, Andy gives us the fun, kind of casual outdoorsy take on Valentine's Day. And again, for the gals who maybe don't want to wear pink or red, peach is another very feminine color, so pretty. And we bring back in that little red Xena cow bag. So it's a fun mixing of uh, very feminine colors. And then we have the new sandals, the little platform sandals in from Sorel in white. 
whether it's date night or just lunch out with the girls or maybe hanging around town with her sister Meekness on Valentine's Day, Cheryl is completely rocking the spirit of the day in this hot pink cardigan sweater from Pole. So pretty. And then we've just got the white blouse underneath over a pair of wide leg black and white striped pants. And then the America and Beyond bag just gives it an extra added fresh pop of color. This is so pretty morning, noon, or night. Patrice is giving us a really fun athleisure twist on the Valentine's Day theme. And it's not super easy to tell from the picture here, but these leggings from Mono B actually have a little bit of a shimmer to them and they are kind of a mauve purple camo. And once again, we're just showing that it doesn't have to be red or pink. It could just be something feminine. And of course, this is a great example of staying true to who you are. And Patrice is very active. She loves and lives in her active wear. So she's got the leggings just elevated with the new OTBT suede wedges and a basic t-shirt and the cute bag from Jen and Company. For those of you who are all in when it comes to Valentine's Day, take a look at how Corey is completely rocking this matching set here from Urban Daisy. How beautiful. Again, we see the pink, the bubblegum pink blazer, this time paired back to the matching bubblegum pink wide laid leg high-waisted pants and just a basic white t-shirt underneath and the pewter wedges from OTBT. This is just so beautiful for going out to dinner and I love that it is at the same time very casual and easy. Well, I told you guys that I might have to model something and it actually turned into several outfits because it was so much fun experimenting with what I want to wear on Valentine's Day. So the first look, I just felt like I ended up having to own. It's so beautiful. This gorgeous dress in here from Fate, the tiered, multicolored. It's got the pink in it. It's got lavender, very, very feminine, a little bit frilly. And I pair it back to the Kochi blush colored little booties. So I feel fabulous feminine and yet at the same time very edgy. This is great for lunch or dinner. This next one is a take on the same theme. I go with another just beautiful feminine floral dress, this time from Urban Daisy. I love it. It has the little flutter sleeve, and this one plays more on the lavender tones. I also bring in another pair of Kochi booties in the mint this time. So it's a very spring-like outfit and just extremely feminine, absolutely perfect for dinner out. This last look has to be my favorite just because it feels so authentically me. I am generally a very casual person, and so I love the pants paired back to the concert tee, but I also like the addition of the feminine element with the pink and the lavender, perfect for Valentine's Day, and yet, you guys, I would wear this one any day of the week, and I feel like I could rock it all day long on Valentine's. Gals, at the end of the day, I always recommend just being extremely true to yourself. And so this is the outfit that ended up winning out for me in the end. I decided to go for a little bit of contrast and something very casual and comfy. So I'm wearing my pink joggers here at home from Pole with my white Riley shirt and my pink matching Kochi booties. This is going to be the outfit I am going to rock for Valentine's Day. Totally me. Gals, and to all of you who participated in this video, thank you for allowing me the joy of watching you guys get dressed up and have just a lot of fun exploring your own personalities and your own tastes. For those of you watching, I hope that you found something in here that resonates with you, that inspires you to either go into your own closet or maybe just go out and find that extra piece to channel your version of Valentine's Day. So if you guys have any thoughts, ideas, comments, either leave them in the comment section below or send me an email to lisa at shopchillstyle.com. If you guys need some quick shopping, then make sure to stop in here to Chill Boutique in Fountain Hills, Arizona, or jump online to www.shopchillstyle.com and you can peruse all of our new arrivals. We always ship for free over $75. If you guys liked this week's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. This really helps my metrics too. It helps my video rise to the top of the line and that 
that is just really, really useful for me and for us getting lots of views and encourages me to make more just like this. So if you haven't already, make sure to jump on and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Zero Waste Closet. That way you guys get notifications whenever new videos come out. Gals, I wish you a wonderful Valentine's week and I cannot wait to see you guys soon.